And we start the episode off at Winter Dot. Uh, he just reached 100 KC. I'm gonna open a couple chests. Hopefully, get another piece, but I doubt it. Did I just get two torches back to back? And these. Oh my god, did I just drop it? My bad. I think these aren't tra tradable. No, they are not. So I got two pieces, I guess, and I got the pyro top in, in 100 KC. So that's not bad. Anyways, I'm gonna continue. Hopefully get the pet or the full set. So I still had the two dark totem pieces and I had the clue scroll, a hard clue scroll in my bank. So I'm gonna do these two totems, hopefully get an elite. If I get an elite, I'll do a master clue. But I also want to finish a couple goals, which are the milestones for clue scrolls. Like for the elite one, when you finish 200 elites, you get a casket, buildable casket. Casket. I think the hard one is a buildable spade. Uh, it's just cosmetic, but it's, it's just a milestone I feel like you need to have one, once there's a completion escape, if there ever comes a completion escape. Anyways, open, let's open this hard clue. Junk. Anyways, I'm gonna kill that Skitizo or something twice and hopefully get an elite clue scroll from it. Hopefully we get an elite clue scroll with Jar. The Jar is around 100, 100 mil plus, I think. And the drop rate is 1 in 2.5k, so I'm not gonna expect getting it. But yeah, anyways, let's see what we get. Stop attacking those. And I'll have another totem, so... Where's the drop? Uh, only a hard clue scroll and ancient shard could be worse. I could have only gotten the hard clue But yeah, uh, anyways, let's do this clue scroll and then come back here for another try and there we go second hard clue Let's open it Room full MT nothing special. Anyways, let's go back to Skitizo not sure if I go if I pronounced it good. Oh, yeah, and let's get our second hard clue or elite clue And there we go second kill Skotizo. I can't pronounce that word Anyways, let's see what we get this time. Hopefully an elite. Yes, we got an elite. Nice. And the an ancient shard as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, guys, I want to go for 200 elites so I can get the casket. So I'm actually going to do that instead of a master clue. And I think there's a 1 in 10 chance. Once you complete an elite, you get a master from that as well. So I might as well just do elites till I have 200 KC and then keep them for... Keep them for master clues. So for now... For now from now on, I'll do leads uh, just regularly instead of master clues. And hopefully we get something decent. And there we go, we just finished another hard clue scroll. We got the room plate XG. Nothing special, shitty clue. Anyways, we still have the lead clue in the bank. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. Let's see what this first step is. Okay, easy. Anyways, let me quickly finish this and then I'm gonna do my diagonal task, I think. And there we go, we just got the casket from the lead clue. Someone just got a room crafting pad. Congrats to him. Not sure who it was, I think it was PM PMD. Anyways, let's open this clue right now because I'm pretty hyped. Because I'm gonna get a third age longsword. No, I'm not. That's That's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Anyways, I'm gonna do my Dagonal task right now. And there we go. First drop you get is a warrior ring. Could have been worse, like a ring of life. I'm not kidding, every task I get a ring of life, so I wouldn't be surprised if I got one as well. Anyways, let's continue this. <coughs> and second drop, a uh, melt battle staff, nothing special. I did die to a DC, so that's why I brought better gear with me. Might as well, and my loot is there. Not sure why I DC'd, I think it was a world DC, but I'm not sure. Uh, could be just my net, but I haven't DC'd for a long time, so I'm gonna blame it on Jagex. Anyways, second drop, uh, first drop was warrior ring. And I just got a hard clue scroll and the second mod battle staff, I forgot to record those. Uh, nothing special, still no archer ring, berserk ring, and I didn't get a ring of life either. Anyway, 76 left, let's continue. Couple kills later we get the Seer's ring, two shitty rings, but yeah, that's my luck. I never get archer rings or berserk rings. Anyways, let's continue the task. It was only five kills after that, by the way. Literally, I stopped recording and I get an elite clue scroll right after. As you can see, I had the kill count. Now we have a hard and an elite clue scroll clue scroll to do after this trip. I'm not gonna bank, I'm just gonna finish the trip and then do the clue. And I actually called it the ring of life. I never get berserker rings or archer rings. Just keep getting these shitty rings. Anyways, let's continue. I don't really care about the money to be honest. I just want the pets. I already got the prime so I got two left out of the three. And hopefully we get another pet. There we go. We just finished the task. Nothing else after those drops. 759. I'm gonna get a new task and then do a farm run and then do the clue scrolls. And it's gonna be 
Nice, can do some Zemi. And there we go, we just started the Zemi task and we got the Zemi Spear, third kill, pretty nice, 7.4 mil. There we go, another drop, Rune Sword, I think it's 1 in 400-ish, if it's the same drop rate as at Armadale. So that sucks, anyways, can't complain, we got the Spear at the third kill, so that's pretty nice. Anyways, let's continue. And there we go, we got another drop, Steam Battle Staff, Troll Drop, it's only 270k. Well, anyways, I'll take it. 105 left in the task, let's continue. And there we go, we got another spear, so we got two of those in this task, a steam battle staff, and all these items, pretty nice. And there we go, we just finished the task, we got two spears, a uh, steam battle staff, and all this loot. I'm gonna sell everything and then split it with my partner and see how much we actually made in the trip. And there we go, it's 8.5 mil each, pretty nice trip. Um, and he also got that, but that's nothing special. You can just keep that. Anyways, nice trip, let's get a new task. I'm doing a farm run at the moment, so I might as well just get a new task. While I'm here, Sukas, easy cannon task, let me quickly do that and then get a new task after this farm one. And there we go, we just finished the Sukha task and let's get a new one, which is gonna be Abyssal Demons. Now I'm not really sure if I wanna do Abyssal Sire yet, but I might just go to Catacombs and start barraging them again. But we'll see, it it's depends on what I feel like doing right now. So I totally forgot that two clues cross my bank, a hard one and elite. So I'm gonna do the hard one first and then do the elite. So this would be the reward, I think. Junk. Anyways, let's do the elite clue scroll. So I think this is the last part of the clue. I'm on step 11 to 12, so I'm like 100% sure this is the last part. Anyways, there's a lot of new clue parts, which I don't know yet, and I have to Google that. And it takes a bit longer. But yeah, I wanna do 200 elite ones so I can get the buildable casket. So let's open this, hopefully we get a master clue out of it, because I think there's a higher chance when you complete an elite that you get one. So anyways, let's open it. Oh my god, I called it, holy shit, I called it. Pretty nice. The loot itself is pretty shit. I don't know why I hyped so much, but yeah. Anyways, let's do a master clue. There we go, casket time. Master clue, let's see what it is. I got this mess before, and it's complete junk. Anyways, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. Might do episode sire, but we'll see. So I did a bit of winter dot, so let's open the cases. I need space. Hold on. Hopefully we get a piece or the pet. Let me just bank a couple of these, yeah. Let's go. And still no second piece, so let's continue. So I just did the rooks, then a mini game, and I got the full set. Took me only 30 minutes, got pretty lucky. One duplicate boot, so if I ever want to get the thieving pet, this will help me a lot. So I did a bit of winter dot, let's open the cases. Hopefully get the second piece. A torch again. No second piece. So I'm not sure what my last clip was, but all I've been doing is woodcutting while playing deadman mode, and I managed to get 31.4 million woodcutting XP, still no beaver pet. Uh, during the duration of Deadman mode, I managed to get 9k redwood logs. Anyways, another thing is that raids thing is coming soon. And I actually had like 50k brews, guys. Like at 50k, I had a feeling they were gonna go up. I bought them for 4k each and I actually just sold them for. I think they're selling for. I'm not sure how much. Uh, let me try. I just sold like 5k of those. Hold on. Brew four doses. See how much people buy them for. Put an offer in for 9k. Okay, someone's selling them for 7.179. I'll just put this in. And I actually sold so many of them so far. I made... I sold them for 40 mil. 5k of those for 7k each. And I bought them for 4k each. So I made 3k profit each though. So I made around 20 to 25 mil profit. Imagine if I kept all the 50k brews. Well, yeah. I dumped them because I thought rage was gonna be the same thing as dungeoning, where you wouldn't need any supplies of your own, that you would just get them in the game itself. But yeah, I still made 25 mil profit, that's pretty nice, and the redwood logs are 7 mil. Um, not sure if I'm gonna sell them, I just keep them, I don't really need them. A lot of battle staves from the daily Ferrock thing. Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is collect my miscellaneous because it's been a while, and then I'm gonna end the episode. And I think my miscellaneous worth. Um, three months worth of supplies, so let's see how much profit I actually made. And I'm not sure if I kept my miscellaneous at 100% all the time, but every week I think it was at 85% and then I just came here and got it back up to 100. So I'm not sure if it's the maximum profit you could get, 
but yeah I think uh, it should be around seven eight mil but anyways let's collect it and see how much it actually is worth I think I should have at least 1k nest so and that's the maximum you can get damn no it's not even 1k nest so I could have uh, let it stay in for longer 76k maple logs that's pretty nice I'm actually gonna sell everything see how much I made and if I get lucky with the bird's nest and get some magic seeds that will add up to the profits let me quickly sell all this and I think the update came where you can crush the nest without doing it manually at Narda for 50 GP each nest so I might do that as well and the reason I collected this now is because brews are expensive which means bird nests uh, crush nests are worth more so these are all the seeds I got from 500 the seed nests and it's total price of 3.3 mil and 6 spirit seeds I'm actually gonna crush the nests manually because you can only do them unnoted they're, they're probably gonna update it later on but I don't have the time for that because I actually want them there now because brews are like 7.2k each which I can maximize my profit at and after that I'll do a total price check of my whole miscellaneous and see how much I actually made in around 3 months ish doing nothing just putting money in and there we go we just managed to crush all the nests uh, open all the nests as well and the total price check is 11.4 mil or 11.8 mil I think it's 11.8 because that's always body GE price anyways that's pretty nice because I think I put around 3 million I'm not sure around 3 mil ish so around 7 mil profit if my math is right I'm not really sure anyways I'm gonna end the episode here make sure to like subscribe if you haven't already until the next episode